Today is the 6th of December. It's the second last day of the COP. We have less than 24 hours to go to finish. Uh, the news is partially good. We had a completion of the Kyoto Protocol track, one of the three major issues that we needed to resolve in Doha. Seems like we have the second commitment period for the Kyoto Protocol. The other two tracks on finance and loss and damage are still going on. The presidency has asked uh, the South African minister to do consultations on loss and damage and the Maldives minister to do consultations on finance. And they're consulting with ministers from different countries. Uh, the, loss, the loss and damage track, South African minister had consultations with different ministers. Uh, just a f an hour or so ago, she met with the minister from the Gambia, uh, Fatou Gai, representing the LDC group and various others as well. We are hoping that <coughs> sometime tomorrow the president and the chairs and the facilitators will be able to produce some uh, draft texts, but we're not sure what that will be and whether or not that will be acceptable. On the loss and damage issue, the <coughs> two extremes are the demand for an international mechanism from AOSIS backed by the G77 in China and the U.S., wanting to kill the work program here on loss and damage and not continue it. Uh, the European Union have put in a compromise proposal that continues the work program but does not support the international mechanism and EOSIS and the least developed countries are still pushing for that. Remains to be seen whether they'll get it tomorrow. I'll do my final report after we get a result from Doha, hopefully in less than 24 hours from now.